Hey guys, we are on our way to Disney World. Yep. We've got a special weekend trip for this guy's birthday. Turning 35. <laughs> we won't tell. Right now everyone's like, whoa, I hope I don't look like that when I'm 35. <laughs> so we are headed out to Pop Century and we already got our room text, which is amazing because we haven't even taken off yet. And we're in the renovated building, which is building 90. We already stayed there, so we know it's renovated. So we're excited about that. And then we don't know what we're going to do tonight because most of the parks close pretty early. But then tomorrow is Festival of the Arts. Yeah, full day of Epcot. Super excited about that. And then the next day we're going to do Boma on our way out. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a whirlwind weekend trip. So stick around. We are about to take off shortly and our flight so far is on time. We cross our fingers it stays that way. So we're on the first monorail, headed to our resort. We made good time, wouldn't you say? It seemed pretty quick, yeah. Our flight was delayed, but then it got moved up again back to the normal time. And here we are at the happiest place on earth. We are passing Art of Animation, almost to Pop Century. Exciting. I was joking about how it would be really hard to stay in one of the old rooms after having stayed in the renovated room in September. Yeah, so we're, we we did the pre-check in, and you know everything's supposed to be good to go. So we're gonna see if we can get through the security gate with our just our band, rather than having to talk to the security guard. All right, it's a moment of truth. Let's see. Have a great night, guys. Thanks, Thank you. you too. And look at that, it worked. Yep, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So now we can go straight to our room and bypass the whole check-in process, which when you come in at night like this is golden. Here we are at Pop, and there are people in the pool, and it, like it's cool enough for a jacket. Like we don't have one on right now because we're headed straight to our room, but wow, there's are some party folks in the pool. <laughs> I know it's heated, but it's not like a hot tub heated. It's just like I think 78 degrees. It's not warm enough for me, especially in the dark. So we got the 90s building, which I mentioned, and I'm so excited because we know it's renovated. Looking forward to this. There's the big laptop. Really big laptop. <laughs> All right, we're at 8439 on the fourth floor. This is our first time in the room. And we stayed in the renovated room back in September and we did a review of that. I will link that up in the corner. But I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of this room in case you missed it last time. So they have this kitchen area with a coffee maker and a refrigerator. And they do have um, coffee and, actually I was about to say tea, but I don't see any tea. It looks like it's all coffee, regular and decaf and things to go with the coffee. They've got a suitcase holder. They've got the air conditioner is digital and we have found it is motion sensor and so it does shut off when you're not here or at night. Uh, the not here part's fine, the at night not so much. So if you watch our other video, um, this table converts into a Murphy bed. You pull this down and it's another bed the same size as this bed over here. Here's the main bed with Mickey over it. Hey look, they got the new room occupied. <laughs> That's right, if you guys haven't heard, they've switched from, you know, do not disturb to room occupy because they said they will come in once a day no matter what, um, for security purposes. They're gonna come in whether you <laughs> want them to or not, basically. Um, but security is always more important than anything else. So it does have two nightstands, which is super nice. You've got a really big TV for the size of the room. Got this credenza with all kinds of storage. Here's a rack to hang things on. And bear with me while I turn some lights on. So you've got this sort of closet area. It doesn't have a door and some shelves. And then you have this that pulls out. So if you need to hang more things, you've got that. Got an ironing board. 
And last time, yep, there was the iron and the um, hair dryer. Some extra toiletry items. Towels. Got two towel, hand towel racks, one sink. There's the mirror, hello. And you do have this vanity mirror, which is really nice, um, especially, you know, not that men don't use it either, but for women putting your makeup on, super helpful. And then, sorry for the fan noise, this has a fan that's motion sensor as well. So you've got two towel racks. So it's interesting, they still have the H2O. I don't know if you guys have seen their rumor, but these are supposedly going away and being replaced by pumps that are refilled. And then we loved this last time. You get the dual shower, shower heads, you've got the rain shower head, as well as the one you can take off. Now that's interesting. I'm not sure what that is. We didn't have that last time. Maybe Brian will know. And then you have a toilet fan. And this was our only complaint last time was the toilet paper is in a very awkward place to reach if you're actually on the toilet. And then they have these barn doors which may or may not lock and the reason i say that is sometimes they don't connect very well and actually lock but um it's really nice and there's also barn doors on this side as well that shut and they're quiet shut so at the end they slow down which is also nice so if one person wants to get ready and the other person wants to sleep in you can also, the safe is in these cabinets and the credenza, and it is huge. That's one thing we really liked last time. You could get a giant laptop in here. It's always nice to turn this on. And Disney Springs is actually the only thing open. We had talked about going there tonight, but I don't think we are since it's so late. If you can see, it's almost 8 o'clock, and we still haven't even eaten dinner, so I think we're just going to go to Pop, get some food, and rest so that we can put in a really long full day tomorrow at Epcot. So we love our renovated pop room and we'll show you a little bit later. They actually have an in-room order menu and you've always been able to get pizza, but now they've got a bunch value. of other stuff. So that's pretty cool. I don't think we'll be here to utilize it this trip, oh. but well, I mean, we're going to be out and about, but still it's pretty neat. So we are going to go to everything pop, everything which is pop. the food court here. So come along. Here we go into the pop gift shop. Lots and lots of Star Wars stuff. Wow, the pop food court is crowded. There are a lot of people here. This is the everything pop food court. It's really nice because they have all these different stations with a lot of different options. And if you have food allergies, you can ask to speak to a chef and they will help you. They also have a grab and go area where you can pick up things to take back to your room. And I've had these salads before, they're really good. Also, if you have allergies, they have baby cakes, mini cupcakes, which is really cool. So those are free of most allergens, not necessarily all, so check, but it's definitely free of gluten and they're also vegan. And these are the regular desserts. And the infamous tie-dye cheesecake. They also have some house-made desserts as well. For our gluten-free followers, there's also rice chips here. And I think every resort on property has these. So I decided to get the Benedict Burger and they're gonna make that gluten-free for me with gluten-free fries, gluten-free bun, and some coleslaw, which is also gluten-free. It's pretty cool, they actually have breakfast for dinner, which is really neat. As always, the Pop Century Food Court is super busy. Here's the in-room dining menu. 
So the pizzas are not new. I mean, they may be new kinds of pizzas, but they've always had pizza. But now they have a whole room service menu that, as far as I know, was not available. They've got these adult beverages. They've got starters. It's pretty extensive. Yep, they've got entrees. And desserts and non-alcoholic beverages. I mean, if we were actually going to be in the room where we might actually utilize this, but I don't think we will be. This is my gluten-free Benedict burger. So it's got an egg, it's got hollandaise sauce, it's got Canadian bacon, and then they gave me a really generous portion of waffle fries and this huge tub of um, coleslaw. And so Brian said by comparison he got gypped. So here's, is that a mahi-mahi sandwich? Yes. And he got, you know, less fries and then there's a tiny bit of coleslaw under that stuff. So it's kind of funny since I got gluten-free I actually got way more food. We just wanted to show you how much ridiculous amount of food I got. This is the leftover fries, almost half the burgers left, and a bunch of the coleslaw. Whereas Brian's is gone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure. Pop centuries. Woo!